something that you'll really like. How about this shirt? Yes, look at that shirt. So, Rosie O'Donnell, talk show host, Rosie O'Donnell, fashion maven. So last week, or I guess it's the beginning of this week, um, Rosie was in Miami, and uh, she had a photograph on her website of her jumping off of a boat. And as she's jumping off of the boat, she's wearing this shirt that says, 012009, and I thought, well, what the hell is that? So I had to look at the larger version of the picture to discover that it says underneath the date, Bush's last day. And I decided it was just brilliant, and I needed to figure out, at first I thought maybe she was making them and she'd have them on her website, but she didn't. And so then I just typed in the date on Google to find out, you know, where the shirt had come from. Come to find that there, it's being sold on a website, which might be a 120.09, uh, I'm not sure exactly. Google it, you'll find it. Bush's last day. Don't forget the apostrophe between the H and the S. In any case, uh, so you can buy the shirt, I think it's $21, you play, pay with PayPal, and it came in like three days. So awesome. So, I was going to wear it to school yesterday, but it occurred to me that, you know, we're trying to encourage the students to like us and want to participate in the drama. And we don't want to have barriers. And being a, a bush hater might be a barrier for some of the children. And also, it perhaps it's not appropriate for their um, critical thinking development if the teacher is telling them what to think. But, you know, so be it. In any case, um, it is Saturday. Today is August 18th. I'm on my way to school because I need to clean my classroom. Um, the kids did a very good job. It was funny yesterday when we were doing our strike because, like, you know, of course, the impetus is always on getting rid of your own things, and once your own things are taken care of, you think that you're done. And so I just went crazy at one point and had to yell at them, saying that the most stressful part of my job, which is true, not just in dealing with the kids, but dealing with the adults, dealing with everybody, is that I always end up doing everything. And I'm there first. I'm the last one to leave, and even when other people are around, I'm still the one doing everything. So I had my little pity moment. I had to go to the bathroom at that time so that I could breathe. And then when I went back, all of the kids were standing on the stage in the auditorium um, wanting to know what needed to be done, which was very sweet. And so I told them what to do, and they got everything done in like 10 minutes. It was just fantastic, completely fantastic and wonderful. Because they're just wonderful kids. They are. And that, I mean, they're kids. So they, you know, want to do as little as possible at times. But given, you know, a little bit of a push, they're willing to do anything for you. So not just that they're willing to do anything for me. It's that they're willing to do many things. They just don't want to if they don't have to. So anyway, so that was very nice. Very sweet. Um... But nonetheless, I mean, you know, the desks need to be cleaned with cleanser and this sort of thing. And, you know, we're not supposed to allow the children to use that kind of thing. God forbid they be allergic or something. So there's that. So I'm going to school now to clean my desk and situate my classroom back to the way that I want it set up for starting school in two and a half weeks. I can't believe it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we're meeting with those kids the day after school starts to discuss doing a little assembly of some of the uh, scenes and songs that we've prepared. Not all of them because it will be too long, but just in um, about 40 minutes worth, 45 minutes worth of different things. So we'll discuss that based on, you know, some of the kids are not really students at our school and all kinds of craziness. So there's that. There's that. This week I have textbook training, which is going to be horrible. I'll be in a mood every morning, I promise you. <laughs> and the week after that, we have actual professional development, which is going to be wild. Cause it's the first time that we've had big professional development meetings with the whole faculty there because we were on a track system and only a third of the teachers were there at a time before. It's a complicated thing, but if you understand, you understand, and if you don't, I'm not explaining right now. So that's it. I leave you with a little more Madonna. They have to be every awful song. Every awful song. Come on. That's good. All right. Here you are, Madonna. Enjoy your Saturday. So long. Just